Hello Fly and welcome to update from the lab number 7 and the first video update we are doing. Uh, we are doing a video update because we have some special news and uh, in particular we wanted to present to you a new recruit. He actually joined two months ago. Um, he's coming from France. His name is Maxime and he's working on the backend software for Fly and in particular the developer API and that's what we want to show to you today. But first let me present to you Maxime who's right over there. Hey Max, can you say hello to the team? Hello. So Max is working on integrating uh, backend software on fly to make it very easy for developers to write application uh, running on fly but also running remotely um, on the mobile, on the laptop, maybe in the cloud and interacting with fly and, and to do that we need a communication protocol and we need an API so we already have our own API which will be open and which we will have an SDK that's what we've been using to build um, our mobile apps but we realize that sometimes developers want more choice and there are already a lot of open source software projects out there and we want to be compatible with them. So we've decided to support the Mavlin API and also to support integration in the ROS, uh, the Robot Operating System. And um, that's really what Ma uh, Maxim has been working on and today we want to show you how far we are with the Mavlin integration which enable you to control fly remotely with things like the drone kit and the drone API and to use ground control stations that are existing today like Mission Planner or QDrone Control or some mobile app on Android. So all really cool stuff that extend the range of possibilities with Fly. Let, let us show you that today. Okay, so this piece of software is called uh, Mission Planner. It's one of the many open source uh, ground control station that you can run on a laptop. And here it's connected to the drone over Wi-Fi. So if I'm, you see, if I'm moving the drone around, we can see the roll is being seen and the pitch and this sort of virtual HUD. And we can log some trace. You can actually have access to all the low level data from Fly. So uh, uh, from the IMU, Accelero, Jero, Magneto, all the logics from the autopilot you can get directly streamed to Mission Planner. Um, and what's really cool with Mission Planner is that you can also use this uh, little gamepad to fly the drone. So let's show you, you know, how we can fly, fly using a laptop and Mission Planner. <laughs> As you can see, you can now remotely control Fly from a laptop through open source software. This is a first step in the Mavling integration and of course all this software is open source so you can look into it and you can use it as building blocks for implementing your own application, interacting with Fly and processing the video feed for example and then sending commands to the drone. It's really a first step for us. Um, next steps is to integrate things like mission planning and waypoint navigation, but also working on the ROS um, integration. We'll keep updating you on our progress. We hope you enjoyed this first video and this first video update from the lab. If you have any questions or comments, please send us an email or you can you know, put your comment down here on the Kickstarter webpage. We thank you all for your ongoing support of our project and uh, see you soon. Bye bye flyers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.